Well, finally, this is a little bit of hopeful news that so many families across our area have been waiting to hear after spending this past year on distance learning. Now, some parents have told me just one month back at school before summer seems too little too late. Others are excited no matter how limited their time is. Our students miss each other. They miss their teachers. After spending almost a full year apart from their students, a thousand teachers and staff members rolled up their sleeves on Friday alone to get their first dose of the coronavirus vaccine, putting them one step closer to in-person teaching. Um, while we're super excited and grateful um, that um, teachers are getting vaccinated, we need to be mindful that students won't be, and we have to really make sure that uh, we are uh, making sure that the return for them is as safe as possible. Now with weekly vaccination clinics set up for the Sacramento City Unified School District staff members, the district is planning to welcome kindergarten through third graders back first, starting on April 8th, fourth through sixth graders on April 15th. And if Sacramento County is in the red tier, they plan to welcome seventh through 12th graders back on May 6th. We've also missed out on a lot of social interaction. And so even if it's only for a month, that is still incredibly important. And as we move into the summer, there may be additional supports that we can provide. Families will be given the option to either stay on distance learning for the rest of the school year or to move to a hybrid model with in-person learning two days a week and distance learning for three. And with that model, and with knowing that we can have 50% of our students on campus at a time, it will allow us to offer that in-person instruction to all of our students and alternate the groups that are coming onto our campuses. The Sacramento City Teachers Association told us the union's framework for reopening is a five-point plan, which includes vaccinations for teachers, ventilation, mitigation, such as social distancing, mask wearing, and testing, low community spread numbers, and having intervention plans ready for students that might be slipping behind in school. You know, we gave them our framework back on February 9th and we have not heard back from them. Um, so we are pleased that they do have a plan. Although the first time that we heard about it um, was at the school board meeting. So we haven't had an opportunity to look, you know, in great detail. Now, to help keep families and staff members better in the loop on these reopening plans, the district has set up an entire online dashboard showing step by step in real time how the process of reopening is going, what screening procedures are already in place, and what some of the changes might already look like inside of these schools. We do have a link to that up on our website right now at abc10.com.